You are very beautiful. Honestly, I've never seen such a beautiful lady like you before. You're flattering me. Just turn around. Don't let me see your backside. See your back parts? Wow. Wow. This is great beauty. I must say. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable. But. Why is he dressed up? You know you paid me very, very well for this business. 250000 dollars man. I'm going to keep you waiting now. Hmm? No problem. I know I paid all those money. 250 k yes. Just for me to have you through the day yes. and the night. <laughs> yes. By the way, I said sit down. I just sit. I just sit down. Okay, if you say so, we do it. Don't worry, Honorable. I promise to satisfy you. I promise to give it to you front and back, any how you want it. I promise to make it comfortable. You will never regret having it. Trust me for that. That is good. Mm, no that is good. Yes, um. <laughs> tell me your name. My name? Oh, okay. My name is Clara. My friend is coming back. Oh, Clara. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful yeah. man you have there. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 stop laughing, Joe. Let's go to the business where we are here now. Listen, don't worry. I know it's about time and money. Yes. No, what's up now? The time is mine. Mm -hmm. The money is also mine. I can do with them whatever I want. So, um, why are you in this business? How long have you been in this business? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I don't understand you. <laughs> no, you're asking me how long I've been doing my business. <laughs> so the truth of the matter is that I don't like to put my private life. No, 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 wait. Clark, wait and listen to me. I want to know. You see, I want to help you. You know, the money is mine. The time is mine. I paid you all those money to have you. I didn't pay this money to have anything to do with you. Just to have you so we can discuss. As we are discussing now. You are too beautiful for this type of business. I want you to stop it. Quit. Yes, excuse you. Yes, quit. If you quit, I'm going to take care of you. Sponsor you to any level of education you want in your academic life. I will play a fatherly role to you. Take you to any level of academics you want. Even up to doctorate degree level. I will sponsor you. Excuse me, sir. Are you for real? I'm for real. <laughs> You're joking right now. Wait. You are telling me to quit the job that I've been putting food on my table, that I've been sustaining me all this while, paying my bills. God, no, no, I say this coming because you're just like all these men that that come my way and tell me, hey, I'll sponsor you, I will do this for you, I'll make you, give you everything you want. But what they want? My body. And when I said, no, I want to give my body, they'll run away. If you're joking. I am not joking. <laughs> I want you to quit so that I can take very good care of you, your siblings, your mother, your parents as a whole. Even if your father is still there, I will take care of all of you. Because you look so beautiful, you look so good, and I know such a beauty combined with intelligence will be a great asset to Nigeria. Yes. You are a useful human being. You are, you, you are so beautiful. There is no need to waste such a beauty. Let me ask you. What happens if you contract HIV or any of these contagious diseases? I know you could be taking very good care of yourself. This, this particular job is not good for you. Assuming you meet ritual killers or you meet Kidnappers? Assuming I am a ritualist, I will simply kill you, dissect your body, and extract vital organs 
and other body parts and sell them for real money. But I want you to quit. I want you to be good. I will take good care of you. The people you, were, you think you are suffering for, none of them will know how you went. They will not understand what happened to your life. You see, I know the situation in the country is too hard, very difficult, but it is not an excuse for anybody, for you, to go into prostitution, or for people to go into armed robbery, or even a drug addiction. People, when they are in difficult situations, they tend to vices, to forget their sorrows, so tend to drink it. Drunkenness, it's not any it's not any solution to any problem. After the drink has gone, when the drug is gone, you will come back to square one. And your problem will be staring you face to face. So my dear Claire, stop crying. Stop crying. Just wipe your tears. You can put on your dress. I will train you. you I will take care of you. I'll give you food. I'll give your people money. So that uh, I'm doing this for God. I'm not doing it for you or for anything. Just for a better society.